Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make oven baked chicken. This is a recipe that my grandmother used to make for us when we were growing up. The ingredients that you will need are three eggs that have been beaten, three-fourths cup of milk, one cup of pancake mix, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground pepper and a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. You will also need at least five to six boneless chicken breast, two cups of ground corn flakes, and an olive oil spray. And I will be using a deep casserole dish today. So let's get cooking. The first step in making your chicken is we will be making a batter for the chicken. Then we will be dipping the chicken into the batter and coating it with the crushed corn flakes. So the first step is we are going to go ahead and take our milk and pour it into our eggs and we're just going to go ahead and mix this together with a whisk. Then next you're going to see me add my salt and pepper and I'm going to go ahead and mix that in also. And now you're going to see me gradually add the pancake mix. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time until I get it nice and mixed before I add more. And again, we're making a batter to dip the chicken in before we actually coat the chicken with our cornflakes. Okay, so there we go. All of our pancake mix has been added to our egg mixture and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate my bowl a little bit to make sure that I'm getting all of the pancake mix into my milk and egg mixture. This is a very simple batter. You could make this batter using flour if you wanted to, but we, um, we prefer the pancake mix. It's just something that, uh, that we grew up with. Okay, so our batter is finished. So next, you're going to see me pour our cornflakes into a deep bowl. Next step is making sure that you have went ahead and sprayed the bottom and the sides of your casserole dish. And if you do not have a casserole dish, you can go ahead and use a flat cookie sheet if you want to do that. Just make sure that you have sprayed the bottom or you have coated it with some sort of oil of your preference. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to move the chicken forward and I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken into the batter and I want to make sure that I'm coating the chicken nicely with the batter and I am using boneless chicken breast and I have preheated my oven to 300 degrees because I have found that uh, to make chicken breasts that are boneless that are nice and moist for me and my family I choose to cook the chicken breast at 300 degrees in the oven for approximately 50 minutes or until the uh, juices are running clear or we have an internal temperature of 165 degrees or more and you can always check your temperature by using a meat thermometer. So what you see me do next is I am placing the chicken into my bowl and I'm making sure that it's nice and coated. And with this chicken, you do not want to turn the chicken during the cooking process. 
So here is what the chicken looks like after it's been coated. And I'm going to go ahead and place the chicken into my casserole dish and just gently shake the mixture off and place it in your casserole dish. And I'll do one more so that you can see the process again. And always have a couple of forks with me because when you're using batter and flour of any kind and an egg mixture and you're trying to coat meat, it tends to get sticky. So go ahead and flip your chicken a couple of times and let it drain. There we go. And place it into your container that has your crushed cornflakes in. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's evenly coated. There we go. So here it is again. And I'm going to go ahead and shake it off a little bit. And I'm bringing my bowl over and I'm placing it into the dish. So there you have it. A simple and easy way to coat chicken and it will be nice and crispy also. So I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll show you what all the chicken looks like inside of the casserole dish before I put it into the oven. Okay, I wanted to show you what the chicken looks like right before I place it in the oven. But the last step is spraying your chicken. And then I'm going to place it into the oven at preheated 300 degrees for 50 minutes or until the juices are running clear. And you always want to make sure that your chicken is at an internal temperature of 165 degrees or more. So I'll let you see what our chicken looks like when I get it out of the oven. The chicken is done and we're ready to eat dinner. I hope you enjoy this recipe from my grandmother as much as we do. Until next time, enjoy.